They uh, do a lot of stuff. Again, coming back onto the next question, India challenges. If anybody is writing a software, especially building a company in India, and you're not thinking about India challenges, oh man, you are, uh, you are signing up for a doomsday. The things that works in US, the blueprint there and the blueprint in India are completely different. The ecosystem is completely different. The consumer mindset is different. The consumption is different. So Shankar, uh, number one India challenge, what do you think of it? So number one, when we started, it was security. So followed by, we cannot use student bandwidth a lot. Yeah. Right? Now it's Geo, but we started yes. in the era which was Airtel and lots of other players. And even some of the ISPs, like I remember this incident, where in the BSNL network, in some of the zone networks, even the Vimeo was banned. Yes. So we are coming from that challenge that yes. you cannot even open Vimeo. And students don't understand this. They said, hey, video is not playing. Yes. Once they move on to different network, video is playing. India comes with its own challenges. Yes. Bandwidth, definitely one of the challenge. People don't have that much of bandwidth. Now they have, thanks to the geo, the bandwidth is cheap. Now, and... now also, Hitesh, what problem we face is, uh, geo restricts 1 GB, 2 GB per day. So student wants the video under 100 MB, 200 MB. That too, you know, it cannot go there because it's daily pack will overburden. So immediately problem they will raise. Video is taking all my, uh, you know, bandwidth. <laughs> so we have and to retranscode and put it in lower quality or do some optimization and load back. And teachers like me love to put videos in 4K. Like each of my video is like in 5GB, 6GB. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and although I don't upload this much of GBs on Learnist, I already optimize it. But what you will also notice, a lot of people don't know this, if you over optimize, it actually increases the size as well in some of the cases. Yes. If you have already optimized the video and you try to retranscode the videos, your file from 80 MB might jump to 150 MB. Yes. So yeah. Sometimes this is also another <laughs> challenge. Nobody yes. knows and nobody talks about it. True, Hitesh. We had that problem, right? Once uh, you had fully optimized video loaded, we ran transcoder again and the video size had become bigger. Yeah. <laughs> we had to rework on the algorithm. See, we assume some input condition on the video. Teacher would have uh, you know, loaded video, something like this uh, uh, in that way. You you are a techie and you know what goes inside. You had optimized and the input I video. I it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Our system failed, uh, you know, that test case we never tried. So we uh, almost like, uh, you know, 95% of the case we get video which are not optimized properly. Whatever the output from the recording tool it comes, they load that. So for that we had written optimization. When you loaded the video, it failed. <laughs> yeah. For you, I think 80 MB showed 150 MB, all these yeah. things. We were also shocked what, what is happening. Then we ran a system wide stats. Only your videos were going that way. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm known for crashing the system quite <laughs> often like whenever I do a launch video or something uh, it's it's really a long journey but I remember the first time when we published the app uh, in my last startup even just on the very next day Google actually pushed an update that now you cannot do mobile pop-ups and have a Google login mm, yes yes so, so Google changed the what a, what a lucky day. Uh, <laughs> you launch an app and very next day the update comes up. And it's from retrospective, like all the previous also code they updated. And it was not working in my app. I was like, come on, man. What a great day. And you remember iOS launch? That... Oh, man. That we'll, we'll definitely have a discussion on separate uh, one in the app segment. We have a lot of stories about app. Now coming up, uh, now that we know India challenges, that the piracy is one challenge, bandwidth is one challenge. Even the optimization is also one of the challenge because most of the teacher, they just drag and drop the upload the videos and we have to optimize it, compress it. We have a lot of proprietary algorithm. Of course, a lot of open source tools were being used. And by the way, a lot of people don't know this, but we actually completely manage and we have rewritten so many of the open source packages, especially in the React Native. What else we have written, Shankar? Transcoder, FFmpeg, we have added a lot of modules. 
so yeah, see uh, when you run in uh, see amazon also provides transcoder everybody provides transcoder but the rates what they charge that is not uh, usable in india so we have written our own transcoder for certain uh, machine types and we do machine management also so that the cost of transcoding comes down so we have unit economics like you know 1 rupee per hour or something like this and it cannot go more we charge by saas subscription so what happens if the video transcoding cost go very high then the overall you know the, our essential package starts from 3 and 1/2000 so only transcoder only will fill it up with that cost yeah. if you run through amazon or uh, you know uh, not, google transcoder then <laughs> we Nobody had estimated can. it cost us around 1.5 cr for all our video to move to <laughs> amazon <laughs> oh and that's but one good thing is that it's not just we are consuming the open source packages we and our entire team we contribute a lot in those open source packages we have added a lot of modules and react native some of the packages we have rewritten entirely and pushed the whole like it's a completely new package we yes. could have launched our own open source library and something yes. but those developers has done good job so it's our contribution it, it should be there yes so react native major problem we face is uh, the react native upgrades very quickly means uh, the source package but the plugins that we use they don't update so many times we have you know up- upgraded the package and contributed back to the community so new new package uh, new new versions react versions react native versions uh, there is lot of plugins that they, uh, it doesn't work so we, we have to write the- build a page on the learnest uh, about yes. our contribution in the open source and should have a podcast now that i have brought you here we will have <laughs> the discussion True. and ideas so i think uh, one page should be there that our contribution a lot of people don't know that how much we actually contribute in yes. open source there should be a page it's all our team that we they are doing it and we are very proud of our team yes. that they are actually contributing along with their day job uh, it's the part of the day job that you have to contribute in the open source so i think we should shout it out more more marketing yeah, needed <laughs> sure sure itesh